Welcome to today's Tech Tip. In this video, I'll walk you through the basic tools and the tool palette on the OpenBoard software. Let's get started. After launching the software, you will see the toolbar at the top of your screen. You can simply take your stylus or mouse and start writing on the screen. Each of the five colors is optimized to provide the best contrast to the chosen background and therefore offers visual comfort for people who follow your progress. As you change the background color, the line color adapts automatically. The line button allows you to select different line thicknesses for the pen and marker. The eraser button allows you to choose the size of the eraser to clear all or part of the text you've written. If you select any of the sizes from the eraser tool, the eraser tool will automatically be activated. The far left button on the toolbar is your stylus button. You can hide and show the tool palette by selecting the stylus button. The tool palette also remains on your desktop when you hide your whiteboard. The annotate tool on the tool palette allows you to write using your stylus or a mouse. The eraser tool on the tool palette is used to erase what you have written with a stylus. The highlight tool is used to highlight passages providing a certain level of transparency. The select tool helps you modify and change objects. Select an object on your page to move it and apply changes such as resizing, deletion, or rotation. The Interacting with Objects tool, or Magic Finger, allows you to perform actions on objects without displaying the editing options that are visible with the Select tool. You might use the Magic Finger when you want a student to move an image across the screen, but don't want that student to edit the object. The Move Page tool allows you to move all the objects within the page. You can recenter the view directly by clicking twice on the same icon. The Zoom In and Zoom Out tool allows you to enlarge or reduce the area on your screen. A double click on either button will return the screen back to normal size. The laser pointer activates a virtual red dot to bring attention to an item on the screen. The straight line tool allows you to draw a straight line anywhere on the board. The text tool creates a text object on your board that you can edit. You can choose font, color, size, and several other options with the text tool selected. The capture tool allows you to capture any area of the page and copy it to a new slide or to save the capture in a photo library. The new slide is created and the image is added to the slide and saved on the left side of the whiteboard in the slide area. The virtual keyboard can be used if you're presenting from an interactive flat panel and are not directly in front of your computer. By clicking the Backgrounds button, a selection window will appear. It offers six page backgrounds white, white checkered, white lined, black, black checkered, and black lined. The size of the grid is adjustable using the slider at the bottom of the background window. The undo and redo buttons are available to cancel or restore the last action performed. The pages button adds a page to your slide deck. This will be automatically placed after the current page. A backup is performed when adding or changing pages. A backup of your page is also done automatically every three minutes. If you make a long click on the Pages button, a menu opens up and you can choose to add a new page, duplicate the current page, or import a page from a file. Clicking on the Previous or Next Page icon makes it possible to go to the previous or next page in your slideshow. Your document is automatically saved with each change of page. And finally, the Erase button has four choices. 
Make a long click on the Erase button. A menu appears that lets you choose whether to delete only your annotations, only the elements, the entire contents of the page, or, if you want, to delete the page background. In the next video, I'll show you how to work with objects and how to add files. Thank you.